This is the view of the Earth from space. The continent of South America may be seen if we slightly zoom in. Brazil is the largest nation in this continent. Brazil has 8.5 million people, making it the seventh most populated country in the world by area. The Amazon rainforest, the biggest jungle in the world, it's just this huge leap and capability may be seen if we slightly zoom in on the north of Brazil on the globe. The Amazon is mostly in Brazil, although there are also small areas in Peru and Colombia. You need to know some background knowledge about the area before we can discuss the terrible finds buried in the Brazilian rainforest. There are a ton of unsettling and enigmatic findings in the Amazon jungle. However, some understanding of Brazil and its jungle is necessary to really appreciate these. Brazil's geography is incredibly diverse. It is renowned for having extensive forests. Large swamps, rocky hills, pine forests, arid grasslands, enormous plateaus, and a lengthy coastal plain do exist, nevertheless. The Amazon River and its surrounding jungle rule northern Brazil. There are hundreds of rivers in the Amazon, not just one. Numerous species, including the well-known piranha and the bodo, or pink river dolphin, may be found in the river. It is 6,840 kilometers, or 4,250 miles long. The world's most diversified animal population may be found in Brazil. 600 different animal species, 3,000 different fish species, 1,600 different bird species, an astounding 100,000 different insect species, and many more that have not yet been identified call it home. Most of Brazil's animal species are found in its rainforests. The world's most extensive and diverse biological reservoir is the Amazon rainforest. Among the rich vegetation are a variety of myrtle, laurel, palm, and acacia species, as well as rosewood, Brazil nuts, and rubber trees. Excellent wood options include mahogany and Amazonian cedar. Numerous different rodents and monkeys, as well as jaguars, manatees, tapirs, red deer, and capybaras are also common species. Large swaths of the Amazon rainforest were occupied by Brazil's fast-growing population, the 20th century. The volume of Amazon forest shrunk significantly as a result of humans removing the region to harvest lumber, create grazing meadows, and cultivate land. With an estimated 390 million unique trees divided into 16,000 species, the Amazon rainforest contains more than half of the world's surviving tropical rainforest, it is also the biggest and most biodiverse tropical rainforest in the world. The Amazon has a significant role in regulating climate, in addition to housing an impressive diversity of species. More than 10 times as much carbon as is emitted globally each year is found in the Amazon Basin, where 100 billion metric tons of it are stored. Although many endangered species may also be found in the pampas and semi-desert regions of Brazil, the Pantanal is a flat, marshy region in the country's central west. The biggest wetland in the world may be found in this patchwork of tiny islands and flooded lagoons. Big guinea pig cousins called capybaras, giant anacondas, and frightful South American alligators called caimans may all be found in this area. Numerous horrifying discoveries, including deadly creatures and prehistoric Brazilians who tore flesh from the dead and eaten their remains, have been made during the thousands of years that people have been exploring the Brazilian forest. Explore some terrible, amazing, and startling findings made in Brazil in this movie. They will change everything. Number 9. The 33-foot-tall beast. On a Brazilian construction site, biologists uncovered the biggest anaconda ever found. Anacondas are very dangerous snakes. Anacondas may grow to be 20 feet long and weigh hundreds of pounds despite not having venom. Deer, and in a few rare instances, jaguars are among the large animals they commonly kill. Despite not being especially novel, their manner of assault is powerful. They are known as constrictors and are members of the boa family. The majority of the time, these animals lie beneath the water's surface, the crowns of their heads protruding when they charge potential prey. They grab the snake with their teeth and start to circle around it as soon as they spot it coming. They won't try to escape again after that. They'll just keep tightening until the victim is dead. 
Multiple stages of constriction might lead to organ failure or strangulation in the prey. The anaconda is difficult to avoid in either situation since it completely swallows its prey. This snake was found in Brazil and measured 33 feet long, 3 feet broad, and weighed around 880 pound. Sadly, it was either already dead when they found the snake, or when it emerged, construction workers killed it. In any event, the largest known anaconda's demise was brought on by mankind. This indicates that the anaconda's claimed size is unsupported by any independent organization's ability to precisely measure or record the animal. Although a video of the snake exists, it is possible for the film to have been altered without the required citations or supporting documentation. One story claims that there have been several accounts of anacondas that reportedly set records. They found a 27-foot-long, 3-foot circumference, more than 500-pound weighted snake as the biggest one. The likelihood is quite high that the biggest anaconda has never been seen or measured. What resides in the huge depths of the Amazon River Basin or under the oceans is difficult to predict. We never know what lurks in the depths, especially since the green anaconda was just unintentionally discovered in Brazil. Number 8. A Manaconda A strange animal that some claim replicates a portion of the male anatomy has been found in the Amazon. Although Brazil is home to some incredible animals, this snake-like creature is on the more repulsive end of the natural spectrum. The Atratocoana salty, which is smooth and reputed to resemble I suppose this repulsive serpent, which looks fairly nasty, resides in the waters of the Amazon. Despite having the appearance of a smutty serpent, the reptilian-looking species is actually an amphibian. The horrifying animal was first spotted in the Amazonian waters in 1968, and there were no further verifiable sightings until a family of them was found in 2012. Despite the fact that nothing is known about these so-called snakes, which may reach lengths of over a meter, the remarkable discovery brings them to the attention of scientists. These enormous, phallic-shaped amphibians are girthy giants, and nothing is known about them. There is conjecture that the amphibious animals lack lungs and breathe via their skin. However, this has not yet been confirmed. Experts are aware that the animals are blind and dwell in the swift-moving Amazon River. Since its discovery, people have seen it devour tiny fish and worms. The unusual animal is mockingly referred to as a manaconda because to its startling similarity to the genital organ. This water critter is completely innocuous and presents no threat to anyone who chances to stumble across one, unlike Brazil's several poisonous spider species. The seventh, a terrible reptile that crushes bones. Brazil has revealed the existence of a terrifying bone-crushing beast that consumed an early dinosaur corpse 230 million years ago. It is believed to have a connection to contemporary crocodiles. The Dynamiscus fossils were found in the picturesque Brazilian village of Agudo, in what is known as a dinosaur graveyard. The fossils have a 7.7-foot length. Its moniker, Strong Croc, alludes to its fierce bite. On the other hand, its modest pace of biting would have indicated that it was a scavenger, which it most certainly was. The Dynamosuchus as Colossensis was a carnivore with a long tail and snout, powerful jaws, and enormous blade-like teeth for consuming meat. The monster's skull resembled a rixus, and its back was covered in two rows of bony plates. It was a member of the Ornithosuchidae tribe. It walked on four legs and sprinted on its two hind limbs during a time when the earliest dinosaurs had just recently started to take shape. It was the Tyrannosaurus rex of its era. In the early days of the continent, the Amazon jungle in Brazil was home to the fearsome Dynamo Sucus, a creature at the top of the food chain that measured seven feet in length. And we can undoubtedly rejoice that they are no longer around. Number 6. The Chocolate Frog The Amazon jungle is a place where new discoveries are discovered on a regular basis. An image of an odd-looking amphibian went popular on Twitter at the start of the year. It was compared to melted Tootsie Roll candies and associated with Harry Potter's chocolate frogs. It was not Brazil that produced this strange finding. It was produced in a nation that is home to portions of the vast interconnected Amazon rainforest. The Peruvian Amazon, to be exact, is where the find was found. 
It is amazing to consider how large the Amazon rainforest is and how closely interwoven people, animals, and environment are and have been for countless years in this region. The Amazon rainforest spans a sizable portion of the South American continent. The rate at which this frog's popularity is growing surprises me a lot. One of the researchers who first described the frog was German Chavez, a researcher at the Peruvian Institute of Herpetology. I'm not sure if it's the tapir-like profile or the skin's chocolate texture. The Amazon peatlands, a marshy wetland full of decaying vegetation, is one of the Amazon rainforest's rarest environments, and it was during a short inventory in Peru that Chavez and colleagues came upon the tiny, long-snouted frog. Because of their little size, tapir frogs may easily bury themselves in soft, wet peat. In addition to other burrowing mammals, the researchers think that may have an effect on soil and water penetration, which is crucial to the peatland ecology. The frogs are little, approximately the size of a quarter, according to Michelle Thompson, a researcher at the Keller Science Action Center at the Field Museum in Chicago, who was a member of the team that found the frog. They are swift and subterranean, she claimed, so the group depended on audio. They immediately reacted when they heard an odd beep-beep call. We heard one of the men crying out of nowhere from underground, Chavez said. In order to locate the location of the frog's cry, I had to position my ear directly on the dirt that touched it. According to Chavez, another team member, David Sanchez from Colombia's Amazon Institute for Scientific Research, suggested tracing a hypothetical square surrounding the call's origin and manually digging within it. Thompson told Mangabe, once we triangulated the sound, we had to be patient as we moved in on where to dig because they would become silent as we approached close. We were forced to turn out our lights, remain still, and wait until they called once again. We would then scramble to dig as soon as we heard them, and ultimately we struck lucky. One immature and two adult frogs were found by the expedition's crew. These samples, along with the documentation and DNA analysis, provided conclusive evidence that the frog is a novel species to science. Its scientific name is Synonis danta. Tapir, a large rainforest animal with a distinctive snout, is known in Spanish as danta. The journal Evolutionary Systematics provides a thorough description of the frog. Within a planned conservation area on unclassified federal land near a defined indigenous territory in Yaguas National Park, the peatland habitat of the tapir frog is situated. Numerous indigenous people, like those from the Peruvian town of Nativa Tresquinas, who led the researchers to the tapir frog, reside in the region. The inhabitants of the Peruvian Amazon forest are familiar with the species, despite the fact that it is new to science. Number 5. The Horrifying Rites of Ancient Brazil among the horrifying rituals the ancient Brazilians conducted on their dead were cannibalism and the removal of teeth and muscles from the body. The oldest proof that people execute these ceremonies on corpses is currently being discovered by experts on the continent. These skulls were found in Lapa do Santo, a Lagocender cave that served as a cemetery between 10 and 600 years ago. The disembodied skull and jaw were found by anthropologists in a dip near the cave's entrance. They were completely buried since the first six vertebrae and two severed hands were all covered in limestone slabs. The skull stood apart from the other bones found in the cave, proving that these prehistoric people's burial customs were more advanced than previously thought. With the left hand pointing upward on the right side of the face and the right hand pointing downward on the left, the hands had been removed from the rest of the body and put palm down over the face. Garcia's decapitation does not seem to have been a violent act, according to Dr. Domingo Carlos Salazar, another researcher working on the study at the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology. This is supported by an examination of his severed head. The young man was not a vanquished enemy, but a resident of the cave's human community. It was long assumed that the disembodied mint was performed as part of a ritual or ceremony because of the meticulous placement of the hands and skulls. Small incision scars on the skull indicate that the surrounding soft tissue was also cut out before it was buried. Academics don't go into great detail as to how people got to partake in these horrible crimes. On the other side, several tribes in Brazil practiced endo-cannibalism, the eating of the dead as a form of memorial. They felt it solidified a lifelong bond with those of their type. They would start by mutilating, 
defecating, pulling out teeth, and cannibalizing the body. Then they would follow stringent requirements for a second burial. Number four, glass frogs. A new species of Jim Henson's singing frog that resembles Kermit, translucent glass frogs with bulging white eyes and dots on black pupils, has been discovered in Costa Rica. But this frog isn't able to sing. In fact, a recent research suggests that the length of its whistle, which is similar to an insect's, may have prevented scientists from seeing it sooner. In Costa Rica, the final glass frog was found in 1973. Because their bones, intestines, and beating hearts can be seen through the skin that covers their body and limbs, the glass frogs of Central and South America earned their name. The reason for their peculiar appearance has largely gone unstudied, but recent study has revealed that the frog's glass-like skin aids in camouflage and protects them from predators. The new frog resembles Kermit, but it is not as endearing. Male glass frogs are fiercely protective of their territories, and they will fight any other males that intrude. It's fantastic to find a frog that can see through things, but most of us wouldn't want to see what time it is in the morning or evening. Naturally, we wouldn't like being obliged to regularly consume a frog's internal organs. Or do you favor this approach? Number three, the discovery of a small-sized titanosaurian. In essence, Fresh, fascinating discoveries are made by scientists every year in Brazil. A little titanosaurian dinosaur was recently found in the Brazilian state of Sao Paulo by paleontologists. Between the late Centonian and early Campanian epochs of the Upper Cretaceous epoch, or around 83 million years ago, the newly discovered dinosaur species thrived on Earth. The body length of the extinct species known as Iberania parva was 5.7 meters or 18.7 feet. It is one of the tiniest sauropods ever found, being around the same size as the Magyarosaurus titanosaur. It belonged to the Titanosauria, a suborder of sauropod dinosaurs with long necks that lived from the late Jurassic until the end of the Cretaceous era. Dr. Bruno Navarro, a paleontologist at the Museo de Zoologia at the University of Sao Paulo, and his colleagues from Brazil and Germany described the Titanosauria clade of neosauropods as having amazing variety and a global distribution. The presence of large and nanoid species is a well-known indicator of their obvious body size difference. They stand in for the most characteristic, large-bodied, herbivorous faunal element in the southern continent's late Cretaceous biotas. Nevertheless, they may be found in Laurasia as well, though in some early Cretaceous forms. In Vila Ventura, in the southeast of Sopolo State, Brazil, an outcrop of the São José do Rio Preto formation, yielded at least four Iberania parva specimens. According to the paleontologists, the nanism seen in Iberania parva is connected to the development of an endemic fauna in response to the arid environment conditions of the São José do Rio Preto formation, which are marked by extended drought spells. They also learned that Iberania parva belonged to the Saltorine family of Titanosaurian dinosaurs, which were previously only known in miniature forms. In addition to being one of the tiniest sauropods yet described, this new species is also the first unambiguous Saltorini titanosaurian to be recorded from Brazil, according to our enlarged phylogenetic analysis. According to them, Saltorini exhibit a noticeable reduction in body size in South America, which has been attributed to either a response to their geographic confinement to a vast north-south coastal corridor of the Andean region in the latest Cretaceous, or to their occupation of novel and constrained environments that were once home to diplodocoid sauropods. Number two, the horned beast of Bahia. Brazil is not unusual for a significant number of American visitors to choose the seaside communities in the Brazilian state of Bahia as a summer getaway holiday destination. It happened during the busiest travel period. A strange image of what can only be described as a demonic-looking humanoid horned beast swimming in a murky river surrounded by tall mangrove trees with what seems to be a small child's body dangling in its arms surfaced from the Brazilian state of Bahia. Although there isn't much reliable information regarding the image being shared online, several accounts state that it was taken by a young American tourist who is claimed to be just 15 years old, who saw the strange creature and quickly snapped the picture before running away. Many people believe that the image is so clear that if it were false, 
it would have been done with practical effects or by the little girl who took the photo misidentifying herself. Since the location is well known for clam fishing, and many clam fishermen choose quiet areas as their own hotspots, some have attempted to explain the photograph by stating that the creature portrayed in the image is merely a clam fisherman. The picture, on the other hand, shows a man who is completely covered in mud from head to toe, with no pinkish flesh or human characteristics. His lips, eyes, and skin are all gray. The horns of the monster have been disregarded as little more than two strands of mud-covered hair pointing in different directions. Contrarily, the image clearly shows the creature to have a bald, dome-shaped head with sharp protrusions from the sides and no discernible clumps of hair. The bodies of what appear to be a limp infants hanging from the creature's arms are likewise ignored by every skeptic theory. Many people have wondered whether the deep forest trees and untamed natural landscape conceal a dark and terrible demonic creature that preys on the enormous numbers of people who go missing every year after there have been multiple sightings of the Bahia horned beast throughout the years. Other information about the terrible beast has not yet been discovered. Number 1. A Mapinguari One of the strangest artifacts ever discovered in Brazil is the Mapinguari, it is impossible for it to even exist. As far south as Paraguay, Brazil, Venezuela, and Brazilian folklore have all reported seeing it. It is Juma. It is claimed to reside in the Amazonian jungle and is frequently referred to as the enormous Harry Wildman, the shrieking monster, the fated beast, the crooked beast, or any combination of these are all possible translations for its name. Some people think that the monster is a cyclops with human traits. Contrarily, how the mapping quarry seems depends on the storyteller. Despite this, it is typically shown standing on two legs with a gaping mouth on its belly. It stands at least seven feet tall. It is said to be a dark red creature hunting the Amazonian forest while following a cloud of flying beetles. It has a bear-sized body and a monkey-like face. It has an uncanny resemblance to the human body in its upright form. Its second mouth in its belly is said to be where its foul odor originates from, and its roar is said to sound like never-ending thunder. David Oren, an ornithologist, claims that hearing it makes you want to run away because it is so utterly terrible. Is it true, then? A map in Gwery has reportedly been encountered by many persons. There were so many that a few years ago a small team of experts launched an expedition to discover the species. They couldn't tell what it was, but they all agreed that any encounters with the monster were probably with a giant ground sloth. The Mega Ethereum was bigger than an elephant, and was also known as the Enormous Sloth. One of the biggest creatures in its ecology, Megatherium Americanum, could weigh up to 4 tons or 8,800 pounds. It is 2.1 meters or 6 feet in length. It was one of the largest ground sloths, measuring 11 inches from head to tail, or about the size of a contemporary Asian elephant. Massive creatures known as Pleistocene megafauna or megatherium species existed during this time. Megatherium has a robust skeleton with a wide muscular tail and a large pelvic girdle. It could graze at heights that other contemporary herbivores could not because of its enormous size. Megatherium was able to support its enormous body weight by standing on its strong hind legs, using its tail to create a tripod, and using its long, curved forelegs to pull down branches with the best leaves. This sloth walked on the sides of its feet as an anteater does today, since it couldn't place its feet flat on the ground due to its claws. It was primarily a quadruped, but based on its trackways, it was also capable of standing on two legs. According to biomechanical research, it also evolved to become bipedal. Although it most definitely existed until 8,500 years ago, it is now believed to be extinct. Yet reports of sightings of the enormous sloth have persisted over the previous 8,500 years. So perhaps it is still concealed someplace in the unexplored areas of the jungle. We just cannot tell for sure at this moment whether some of those sightings were also the cause of the map inquiry sighting. The existence of a live or dead map inquiry will remain a myth until it is established. But a lot of people think it's out there, just waiting to be found. Comment below and let us know what you think of these tear-verifying findings.